Andrew McGahan for SevereMMA.com and I'm standing alongside Conrad Ivanovsky. Conrad, you've had a, a busy summer fighting in Dublin, victory in Cage Warriors in June and another victory tonight. Uh, how do you think it went? Um, tonight it went more likely this what I was planning to do. Um, because my opponent was six foot six, uh, I know he has a great reach and um, great um, good kicks, good range with the hands. And um, the main thing was the defense tonight. Try to get some lucky shot to go in the, across his range. And um, basically, I don't know what I planned. You know, I didn't plan to get a few hits, but uh, basically, I stick to the plan. What I was planning with my team, which is uh, stick to the cage, uh, take down if I can. Uh, be careful with his legs, you know, because he has a long legs, so it's easy to put some uh, uh, submission. Basic that way, it's my fitness wasn't it wasn't the way I planned it. But it was not bad, so I'm happy enough for today. There was um, a time I saw you smiling during the fight. It was when you said the fans who were there they kept chanting your name, and it was after they were chanting your name you started engaging and you were slipping punches and um, nearly landing heavy shots. Were they spurring you on or? Uh, to be honest, I can't remember I smiled, <laughs> and maybe that was just the reaction. But I didn't smile. I didn't mean to smile anyway. Um, I heard them screaming anyway, and that pushed me to go forward. And um, basically, I was listening to my corner because I know my corner is focused, so they know the best what to do. And uh, that was the plan. Uh, that was the, the thing. I was slipping more. One of your training partners, John Donnelly, mm. he's obviously not six foot six, but he is. He's a similar build. Was he a key training partner in this camp? Uh, yeah, of course. It's my actually the closest friend. Uh, all my friends in the gym, but uh, that's my closest friend, and, and he's. He always did a great job in my corner, and I, I trust him what he does, so um, that was my main uh, fella, because he's tall, of course, as well, and he was a great striker, you know, uh, so that's good uh, help for me for this fight. And Conrad, one final thing, you've had a, a great summer here fighting in Dublin, are you hoping to fight uh, somewhere in Europe next, or do you want to keep fighting in Ireland? I take whatever I'm able to take, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to have, for sure, another two fights uh, coming up, uh, which is battles on, I think. Andy said, and uh, another finds New Year's Eve in the Cage Warriors uh, in the um, New Year's Eve. So a busy summer and a busy winter? Yeah, basically, you see, I'm 26 right now, so I try to uh, get as much record I can. And my, my best uh, birthday present, which is going to be 4 oh yeah. So uh, I hope you keep it up that way, you know. Conrad, your fans here have won a couple of words with you, so we'll, uh, we'll let you go. Um, just want a big thank you uh, for my crowd. I always turned up and always support me in my own time. And uh, in, the, in the shows, also the sponsor, Fanatic Shop, the Lancer Nutrition, big thank you for them. And of course, my coach is Andy Ryan and the other coach for King Boxing, uh, Jimmy. You know, a big thank you for them and all, all my teammates. Conrad, we really appreciate your time. Uh, thank you, you very much. Tonight. See you thank now. You.